demonstration will get to people in Gaza and they will know the people in Dumbarton and Alexandria support the struggle they are in, the resistance they are in to make sure that they get equality and justice in Palestine. Yay! And also I think a vote of thanks to the local provost, a Labour councillor, Douglas McAllister, who took the decision to fly the flag. The Palestinians. We're all appalled at the slaughter that's going on in, in Gaza at this moment, and that's why we're here. Almost 2,000 innocent people have been killed by the IDF. 70% of them are women and children. Gaza, as we all know, is an open prison, and we've got the fourth biggest military in the world bombing men and women in an open prison they can't get into and they can't leave. I don't know if people have seen the comments by the Deputy Speaker in the Knesset, which is the Israeli Parliament during the week. The Deputy Speaker of the Knesset in Israel has said that Israel needs to establish concentration camps in Gaza. They need to destroy the militants and put the remaining population in the concentration camps. Coming from a government in Israel and what the Jewish people went through in the Holocaust sums up how right-wing and vicious this Zionist government is. The people in Gaza have been blockaded for eight years. They can't leave, they can't come in. They've got no right of travel by sea, air or land. They've got no army, no navy, and they've got no air force. And what the message needs to be for us tonight, to the people of Gaza and the people in this country, is not in our name. Not in our name do they do what they're doing in Gaza and they're going back. We can all do stuff as individuals, and it needs to be the boycott. We need to focus on boycotting Israeli goods, Israeli produce and uh, Israeli services.
that's something we can, as individuals and our families, do. And it will have an impact.